PS4 sales dominance slackens slightly in holiday season, by Kyle Orland. Further reading, Sony's system has dominated worldwide console sales in the last six months. Three months ago, our look at the state of the worldwide battle over the living room console market showed Sony dominating, both in lifetime shipments and those for the trailing six months. New numbers for the all-important holiday quarter show Sony maintaining its lead but Microsoft slowing Sony's runaway momentum. Sony's latest quarterly report shows 6.4 million PlayStation 4 units shipped worldwide between October and December of 2014, bringing the console's lifetime shipment total to 19.9 million. Last month, Sony announced that it had sold 18.5 million of those shipped consoles through to consumers as of January 5th suggesting a gap of about 1.4 million consoles between the shipped and sold numbers. That 7% difference might sound significant, but it represents just over one average month of Sony's overall 2014 shipments. This suggests that retailers worldwide are simply ordering shipments they expect to sell in the very near future and that shipments are a decent time-shifted proxy for sales to homes. All numbers in the remainder of this piece represent shipments to retailers, even when sales is used as a shorthand. Tracking Xbox One sales, as usual, is a little trickier. Microsoft reported 6.6 .6 million shipments of Xbox consoles during the 2014 holidays, but it didn't break down how many of those came from the legacy Xbox 360. We know from previous financial reports that the Xbox 360 shipped 3.5 million units in the 2013 holiday quarter. Our best guess, based on trends from previous and current console transitions, is that the older system sold between 33 and 60 percent of that number over the 2014 holidays. Further reading, Nintendo's home country still shows outsized love for the 3DS, though. That leaves anywhere from 4.5 to 5.45 million Xbox One shipments for the 2014 holiday quarter. Added to our previous estimates, our best guess range for lifetime Xbox One shipments now falls between 11.34 million and 12.95 million units. Sony and Microsoft's numbers come on top of a Nintendo earnings report showing 1.91 million Wii U shipments for the holiday quarter and 9.3 million shipments for the system overall since its late 2012 launch. That's a slight improvement from Nintendo's tepid 2013 performance, but it's probably not enough to make the system a serious target for third-party publishers. A familiar-looking market, all in all. The holiday reports show Sony maintaining its worldwide lead in console shipments but Microsoft tilting the recent sales momentum slightly in its favor. For the first nine months of 2014, for instance, the PS4 represented roughly 71 to 75 percent of the two console market shared with the Xbox One. During the holiday quarter, Sony's proportion of that market was whittled down significantly, to 54 to 59 percent. That still represents a majority for Sony, of course, and it means that Microsoft still slowly lost ground in the battle of raw, life-to-date shipment numbers during the holidays. But it represents a blunting of what had been some crushing sales momentum for the PS4, and it makes it much less likely that Sony will come to utterly dominate the entire console generation, PlayStation 2 style, anytime in the near future. Further reading. It looks like making the console cheaper has made it more attractive to buyers. Worldwide numbers can also obscure Microsoft's regional sales strengths. While the Xbox One continues to be a non-factor in Japan, Microsoft's system outsold the PS4 in both November and December in the US, according to NPD, though we don't know the exact margin of the sales difference. Microsoft probably owes a lot of that American success to aggressive holiday pricing which has now been extended into the new year, and the addition of bundled software like Sunset Overdrive and Assassin's Creed, Unity. The fact that Sony added a free downloadable game to the $400 PS4 package in December was likely an acknowledgement that these moves by Microsoft were having an effect on the US market. Looking at the overall lifetime shipments for all three consoles, though, the holiday season didn't do much to shake up the fundamentals of the market. The PS4 still represents 47 to 49% of all three new generation consoles shipped worldwide, 
largely unchanged from the 48 to 49 percent estimate before the holidays. Leaving Nintendo out, the PS4 now represents 61 to 64 percent of lifetime 2 console shipments, down just a hair from the 65 to 67 percent before the holidays. In that kind of market, most third-party publishers will likely continue to ignore the Wii U while spreading their big-budget titles between the PS4 and the Xbox One, barring some lucrative exclusivity deal. That shouldn't invalidate the significance of Microsoft's improved performance during the holidays, though. The Xbox One's fourth-quarter shipment numbers have slowed down what could have turned into a market-cornering, runaway performance for the PlayStation 4 and they suggest that a competitive sales battle between the two consoles will likely continue for the foreseeable.